Hello, hello, hello. We're back. Oh, finally. <laughs> I can't believe it's been two weeks since we've been on here. It's been a minute. Yeah. yeah. But we had some traveling in there, some busy mm-hmm. days. Kids are out for summer. Mm-hmm. It's been crazy. It has been crazy. But I'm so excited to bring the dynamic duo back. We are back for our 500th installment of the that. Oxford Downtown Diaries. I don't know what number we're on now. I think Joe said like 18. So okay, we're, that's we're getting great. up there. We're you doing know, pretty well. Lucky number 18. And we have Larry with us <laughs> from Oxford Bike Shop. Favorite? He's my favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Hi, Larry. Hello. Thanks for having me. Welcome. So what do you do, Larry? It's hard to tell. I don't know. I can't tell from your, your gear today. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, I'm from originally Lake Orion. Ugh. And... Uh, <laughs> And we got married about 15 years ago and moved to Oxford. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we got them. Yeah. I mean, just because you started in Lake Orion doesn't mean that you're not an Oxford person. Well, I was moving up. There you oh, go. Oh, okay. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. But you are from the Oxford Bike Shop with an E. Yep. Not to be confused with the shop that other people. Or shoppy. The shoppy. Or I didn't want, you know, I don't want any trouble with Rochester Bike Shop, you know. Okay, out. that so makes that was, sense. That was kind of part of it, and especially, you know, with the, the old English PPE at the end. I yeah. love it. I love Very it. So cool. tell us a little bit about the shop, and then we're going to go backwards and talk about your history, because you have an interesting career path to get to the bike shop. Amen to that. <laughs> so tell us a little bit. I was there when you guys were opening. I remember you walking into my office a couple of years back and said you had an idea. And next thing I know, you were uh, running with it. But I don't want to say running. Biking with it. Okay. Pedaling. Pedaling. <laughs> pedaling. I love it. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So give us the scoop on the Oxford, Oxford Bike Shop. Well, um, it was about, uh, yeah, about a year and a half ago. I remember coming into the office, maybe two years ago, and started talking to you about what I thought could be a potential in in Oxford for some you know something cool to happen like that and bikes I've always liked bikes I've always liked biking and um, you you were very encouraging from day one and it gave me uh, it gave me hope that something bigger than myself could happen and um, I mean the Lord really changed my path and and that's that's kind of where we're at and that's why I'm here that is so cool yeah I remember you coming in and you had this idea and it really, you know, we have known some of the bike shops that have been very successful. You know, Rochester, you already mentioned, one in Lake Orion. Mm-hmm. So I knew that there was a market for that, and I had had people ask about it. But I do think that it takes somebody with a great personality and somebody who's really customer service um, savvy and focused mm-hmm. to really make it work. And you're so loved by this community. Thank I mean, you. we hear it all the time. <laughs> And everybody knows you and your wife. Your wife works at Summit, which mm-hmm. is right in front. Yep, so Mindy. do you guys, like, do lunches together since you're in the same building? Or how does that work? Sometimes. She does, She doesn't have too much time for breaks. Uh, so she's been working her butt off there. So I appreciate everything she does. Um, but bringing lunch was really the first thing that kind of sparked this idea. So I was bringing her lunch um, right before the bike shop opened, obviously. And I looked in the, in the building. And there's just this empty space. And I literally said, I said, Lord, if I'm meant to do something else, give me give me a sign. And literally like a week to that day was, um, it was basically one of my last days at Jets that day. We kind of sp- split ways and went off to a different direction in life. And um, here I am. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, amen. Yes, Jesus to that. Thank I love you. that that's where he pushed you to. So you mentioned Jets. So tell mm-hmm. us a little bit. I know that that was your career path. Tell us a little yeah. bit about it. I thought I'd be doing pizza pretty much forever. Um, and But the best thing about that was um, my partner was awesome. He really kind of set me up for success. And he taught me a lot about customer service and just every you know running business and stuff like that. Um, and just through the years, customer service was ingrained in me and, and taking care of people and just doing the right thing. So that's, that's been the, the blessing of that to lead on to the bike shop. So, cause we're not corporate by any means. I don't, I don't ever want to be corporate at the bike shop. I just want to be a hometown bike shop. Yep. Very cool. cool. So talk about, and I, maybe you said it and I missed it. So I apologize, but you had a Jets um, location. Was it in Lake Orion? Yep, it was in Lake okay. Orion by the Planet Fitness. Okay. Yep. And that's um, great. silent partner there. I was been there 20 years. Okay. Very cool. Yep. That's I did not know that about Larry. It's yeah. Like today. It's, it's really the best pizza around um, besides sick pizza. <laughs> oh, way to throw <laughs> that in there. You know Scotty's I, listening. I, I oh, my God. I, had, I, love the, the, I love the pies over at, at sick. Yeah. They're, yes, they're pretty uh, good. Us, too. They're us pretty too. good. So let's talk about your involvement 
in Oxford because both you and your wife are very involved, um, not only in your businesses, respectively, but also in the community, in your support, in the DDA, and mm-hmm. the events that we have. So talk a little bit about why. Why are you interested in being involved in the community or in our events? Uh, this community has just been such a strong part of our family, and uh, we both live in, we live in Waterstone. Uh, we've been there since the market tanked in 2008. Um, and we meet a lot of people that are here as well. And so now I'm going to ride my bike to work. And just, I mean, all the community events have just been phenomenal. And that's one thing that I liked about when I was in Lake Orion with doing all the chamber events and working with Barnett and all that stuff back then. It was That was the fun part for me was getting out there um, and just having fun with the community. I mean, the line dancing now in Oxford, that was <laughs> That was awesome. As in let's just let's stop I was right there. Say, let's pause <laughs> for a pause <laughs> and talk about Larry line dancing because line right there that rolls Larry. off the tongue. I like that Larry oh line dancing. Larry line good. dancing. Uh, you will forever be our reel that we go to market yes. with to um, talk about these line dancing events. <laughs> but mm-hmm. you were so fun. Um, so fun. It was so fun to watch you and your wife for date nights line dancing. Yes, but you ended up going viral <laughs> on one of the reels that we took. <laughs> and you said it was it was the biker shuffle. Is that right? It was the biker shuffle. Okay. I, I just, I, like it I said, I rolled with you. it. It spoke to me. And I, <laughs> I just I, rolled with it. I think it, the best part for me is that you guys are both so lovely as people But it is a true testament of marriage because you're out there dancing and having a good old time and your wife is 100% pretending like she doesn't know who you are. (laughs) I don't want to stand next to you next week. (laughs) It was so fun though. But I went viral. It was worth it. She (laughs) she doesn't, she no, no. But it was, it was so funny. But yeah, you participated in the line dancing. You guys are doing cornhole now. Mm -hmm. Um. Just yeah, sponsored concerts, concerts in the park. In the concerts park. in the park. And yeah. these are the these are the things that are what the community is all about. It, mm-hmm. it, these are the best things you can do, and it's it's fun doing them. Yeah. yeah. And it makes it so easy to work with someone like you, both of you, because you're so friendly and easygoing. I and I think that. we when you were talking about that with opening a business, especially with a product like cycling, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's, you know, some people are a little intimidated to come in to a bike shop and maybe not know – you know, the right terminology or price points. And so having that type of personality, fun fact for anyone who didn't know this, I worked at a bike shop when I was in college. Oh, really? did How I did I not did. know this? That's where I met Dave. Okay. Uh-huh. We worked together at a bike shop. Bike shops yeah. are bringing people together. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> not that I kept with that necessarily, but that I do know a little Wait, bit about Dave? a bike shop. Or no, that- <laughs> She's like, it's got round wheels. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, so I I love it. And so talk about like your background in 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 cycling or biking. Like it was just a hobby or was it something well, more competitive for you? I've always like skate I was always a skateboarder back in okay. school back in, you know, when when I was going Lake Orion, we were grinding those ledges before they put the the metal rails on them with the L brackets. Uh we just meet up and have fun. I BMX, I skateboarded. It was just, it was a it was kind of a neat little niche, you know, group of people that I was in and Never really big into sports. I like golf and stuff like that. But, uh, but skate, you know, that kind of thrill was really what I liked the most. And, and just skating and riding bikes all day. That's awesome. <laughs> that and awesome. I think it's so good, though, because, you know, we're, we're all three of us are raising younger kids. Mm-hmm. And it is so pertinent that those kids get outside mm-hmm. and actually ride sure. bikes and do the things that we used to do as mm-hmm. kids. Yeah. Go to your neighbor's house. Hey, yeah. is they, are they home and they play, you know, instead of texting all. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. So talk about um, the bike race that you put on. It was at Addison Oaks, correct? Yes, ma'am. It was um, Addison Oaks. It was, the, it used to be called the fall classic back in the nineties. And before COVID hit, it was uh it was a pretty big success. And it's one of the few mountain bike races that were, um, in, in Michigan at the time. And we decided to, um, actually we had a, I had coffee with, with Steve and Heather from, from wild and rooted. And it was, they, she said, Hey, what about, what do you think about this? And I go, that's kind of a, that's kind of a big idea. And uh, I talked to Steve and talked to her over the next few months. And it just, it just kind of rolled, it rolled, you know, the way it needed to. And everybody was behind it. We had ended up with 298 racers. That's wow. amazing. I, yeah. I was, I was awesome. hoping for a hundred to 150 and it was just wild. And we only had one time that, you know, you can only make the first, you know, impact the, the first time they see it. So we were, we, I was cognitive of the details, even though I didn't know what details to be cognitive about, you know, and all that stuff. So, but we, we figured it out and it was awesome. <laughs> 
And ever the feedback was, and I just have to say this, what we heard around town is that nobody could believe that this was your first time running the event really? because it was so well done. Wow. So congrats that's, on thank that. You. Oh, thank that's you. That's awesome. That's good to hear. Um, we're, we already signed up for next year. We already booked it. Uh, the lady, Kate Party from uh, Addison Oaks Township, she was awesome to work with. Uh, Brent Walk from Fun Promotions, he was unbelievable. He's been doing, he's an OG of like bike race and timing and all that stuff. So he was awesome to work with, led me through everything I needed to know and just I, I, then when, when we got home that night I made a list of everything that we wanted to tweak for next year so it was fresh in my mind so. that is yeah that's so <laughs> good do, do you guys have a date set already June 29th there you oh, go June good. 29th Mark okay. your calendars it's, awesome so yep. talk a little bit about you have a weekly meetup correct yep the Polly and Peddlers um, we start behind the bike shop and we either go east or west on Polly and Trail uh, 415 it's just a casual ride maybe seven to 10 miles an hour. It's just, you know, that's more my speed. (laughs) Exactly. When the kids, I got, you know, my kid goes, I got an eight and a 12 year old and then um, a couple other families, kids go six, seven. So it's all, it's really family inviting event. And where do you turn around at any time? I was going to say, where do you go? Like, what is the path? I have a, um, there's a tree house. If you go east on Polly and trail that we stop at, just kind of a visual thing. And then we, th- some people go to Hosner, so a little bit okay, further, okay, yeah. and then turn around. Um, and then if we, they, sometimes the kids want to go to Frosty Boy, of course, so we go the other way and we go up to um, Indian Wood. Um, we just got to be a little bit careful because, uh, you know, going through those busy light, intersections, yeah. you got to be a little careful. Yeah, that, especially, is it Burdick? I don't know where it turns Yeah, right by Seymour. Frosty Boy. Yeah, yeah it, that is mm-hmm. a very hectic because of the three yeah. streets that come together. Um, yeah, but so I feel like fun. with a big group, it's probably yeah. pretty yep. safe. It's people see exactly. you coming. We, we, and, I just yeah. we go out there, we stop, and people are people are good about stopping, especially with a bigger group, like you said. Yeah. And is that something that you have to reserve, or people just come and nope. show up? You can just show up, sign up, and ride. Okay, very cool. I love that. So let's talk about some of the products you have in the store because okay. we were kind of surprised to see some of the things that you have in there. So let's talk about other than what you would imagine would be in a, a typical bike shop. What okay. else do you have in there? We have candles, which and that was that <laughs> I was, love those. That was Mindy's idea. It was a great idea, um, and one of our the lady that does our website, um, Kristen Grifka, she's the one that made them for us. They're all soy based candles, and they got really cool names like you know bike lane lavender poly and pine that's awesome and cool stuff like that stuff you wouldn't see in a normal bike shop yeah um i've got um going back to my roots of pizza i've got a a bike um pizza cutter so no kidding yeah, that's awesome cool. park tool mix it they got uh we got a lot of cool stuff i like the socks. the socks i oh, the sock socks guy. are very popular yep. sunglasses oh good or sunglasses yeah. oh yeah Thank those you. are yep. cute i love yep. those and you have paddle board do you still have paddle boards yes in there? i got some inflatable okay. paddle boards do you have them yeah, oh my I, gosh, my mom just asked, where do I buy one of those? There you okay. go. There you go. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. And this one's got the a seat attachment too, so it's like a hybrid. Ooh. So you can oh, sit. you can sit? Yes. Oh, that's my I speed. just got one for right myself. There. It's It's been pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, that is so cool. That is awesome. So well, what do you like best about Oxford? Um, I'd say the people. I mean, just the trail, of course, the trail systems. Um, just people are just more mellow up here and. They're just, you know, they go, if someone comes into the bike shop, I don't necessarily have to sell them anything. We just have a good conversation and come back and they tell their friends and we go from there. That's funny. When he said all that, all I heard was DDA. (laughs) DDA. (laughs) That's No, I'm just kidding. But that's honestly, that's probably what makes you so likable in the community is because you're not just looking to sell. You're looking to build those Mm long-term relationships with families and with people. And I look at our businesses that have, been here 10 plus years and that's what they've done and I think that that's why so many people value small businesses in our downtown because they like to go in and visit you just to go see Larry and not necessarily every time having to buy something right right No, this is a cool hangout because I've heard one of the guys came in I don't know where he was from he was from out of state and he rode his bike through and he goes the um the bike shop is like the, the cornerstone of the community to an extent that made me feel pretty good because I had no idea that people were thinking like that about a bike shop yeah I was just trying to have some fun and sell some bikes. Yep. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you have any upcoming events or sales or anything that we need to share today? Um, back to school, we could uh, we could do a temp. You know, you mentioned this podcast. Maybe do ten percent off any accessory. How about that? Hey, that works. hey. okay. Work. Yeah. We could probably post that and say, please go listen to our podcast yeah. for okay. a good deal too. <laughs> okay, we could do that too. 
That's awesome. I like that. Yeah. So how often, so this is me asking as a mom. Okay. So for all of us moms that don't understand the whole bike thing, um, how often do kids grow out of bikes? Um, Probably about one to two years. Okay. Uh, especially in like the early, that's why we generally keep lower priced, like 20 inch bikes, 16 okay. inch bikes, more affordable. So the bikes that we have for that is like, it's called retro spec. And those are that, that brand you can get for about 179 to 229. Uh, just for a kid to grow out of in a couple of years. So it puts it at a price point close to Meyer and Walmart, honestly. Okay. And do you guys have the bikes that go by themselves? The, the e-bikes? <laughs> the we do have those. Yep. Those have been uh, well received by some and well not received by others. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a very <laughs> polarizing topic. It, really? It is. It no, is. for sure. But, yeah. but, but to see the another side of it that people don't see is like, um, people that are trying to get out there yeah. and, and lose a little bit of weight maybe and, and they just want to start their journey mm -hmm. they got to start somewhere and they yeah. need like a heavier duty bike that'll kind of assist them yeah and or that, for dda directors that need to constantly get around town. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. that or a golf cart started. i mean the <laughs> golf carts are not legal downtown I so know. this is it although i did see somebody pull up so we were i was setting up cornhole the other night and they pulled up to your shop but it was like a double bike oh that was will yeah he's got okay. like a surrey i think it's called that was so cool i mean it literally looked like a paddle boat on wheels oh. because well, that's how you sat and paddled okay like, there, i don't know there was actually a guy that came in um a couple years ago or no about as a couple years about a year ago and he had an eight person bike like you're just talking about and we were thinking about doing a pedal bar that would be amazing but i knew we meant to talk about that yeah <laughs> But that'd Sold. be kind of fun. Yeah. Sold. We just need to figure out where we could go and the logistics and everything. Yeah. But. Yeah. I feel we like. We can help you with that. And that might cool. not like that on 24. <laughs> we'll keep it on the side street. Yeah. We side street. Well, especially it, being by GravCap and Homegrown. You know, yeah, we could put a keg on there or whatever and just kind of do our, you know, because Lake Orange got the pedal boat. Yeah. Here, right. We could have the, the pedal uh, pedal bar or something. Yeah. I think that was a great idea. I'm on this. <laughs> yep. Let's do this. Trademark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <you> yes. <laughs> Okay, that is so fun. Well, thank you so much for yeah. being on the show. Thank and you. Um, to everybody listening, if you haven't been in, then they are right off Burdick Street, East Burdick, but it's right behind Summit Physical Therapy. So they're in the behind there in that suite. Yep. And, you know, the thing I love about you guys being on the backside of there is it is easy access just yeah. to jump in, jump out. There's always yep. great parking back there. Mm -hmm. So There's 15 minute parking, yes. too, which I utilize quite a yep. bit. You can pull right up and we'll help you unload if you need to. There's a, yeah, there's like a loading and an unloading zone right in front of the. And you fix them, too. Fix bikes yeah correct? yeah we do full service we have just about everything for like i think on our flyer mindy put just ask we probably do it <laughs> i love that i love that that's amazing awesome well thank you larry yes. thanks for being here yeah we're excited for the uh the rowing yes yeah. oh, oh let's shout that out really quick okay. because oh, i'm boy. not Sorry, gonna mindy. lie larry is the type that just jumps in on when we need stuff 100%. We needed some additional folks to help us in the Dragon on the Lake mm -hmm. rowing contest. So I texted Larry yesterday. I was like, dude, you're in shape. You're in. And I was like, by the way, tell Mindy she has to right. do it too. So Mindy, <laughs> congratulations. You have Yay, joined our Mindy. team. No pressure. Very excited. I <laughs> hope you are watching live. <laughs> Yes, but thank you seriously uh, for all of the support that you give the DDA, for all of the help. You know, just your smiling face, you and Mindy both. Uh, we just love hanging out with you and seeing you, and it's just a joy to be able to work with you. So it goes both ways. I appreciate Aww. both everything you everything you girls do too. Aw, thank you. Don't he stop called line us dancing. Girls. I know. I feel so young. I know. <laughs> it's <Yay>. so great. <laughs> so we have kind of a shorter podcast today because we have a yeah, busy night. So do. for anybody watching live, we have family and kids night tonight at concerts in the park. Yep. It's probably our busiest of the season, but yep. the weather looks beautiful. I the know. market is packed this week. Can you believe that it's almost over? We no. have tonight and then one more market and then tonight and two more concerts. And that's only because we had to reschedule yes. one from the beginning. And then our summer series for that portion is over. Yes. We'll still have the car shows and the cornhole and the wind down Wednesdays until the first week in September. So another three weeks but after still, this week. still, even that is coming up it's and the kids crazy. will be back in school, which yeah. I'm not sad about. My kids are ready for a routine again. So <laughs> Tell me about the kids? Wind Down Wednesdays again. Oh, wind Down Wednesdays. Yeah. Sounds... yeah. So Wednesday nights behind uh, Victoria's, okay. it is a kind of a bluesy, jazzy, old big band vibe. Cool. So she has specials on, I know she does flights of yes. her wine, but she also does specials and small plates. 
and wine and, tasting and back wine there. Tasting. Yep. Okay, cool. You can sit back there, listen to some music, just chill in a nice environment. It's more, I would say, it's probably more like adult friendly than like yeah. a children friendly, although kids are welcome too. But, um, and we were kind of thinking when we were planning it, you know, the guys or the car enthusiasts don't want to. You know, don't discriminate. I don't want to discriminate, but those this gives everybody an yeah, option. So yeah, it's on the same night as the car show. So if some friends want to go see the cars and some other friends want to go have wine, they can come downtown, okay. split, and then get back together yeah. before they go home. Perfect. So, Good to know. Yeah. yeah. So, so that one's a great event. Yeah. And then we have tonight, we have the Oxford Community Theater who's doing improv yeah. at 545. Then we start a family DJ at 6.30 mm-hmm. with hula hoop contest and limbo. limbo contest. We have everything from face painting to balloons to glitter tattoos. Cotton candy. What was the other? Dip, dip and Dots will be there oh, tonight. Oh, yeah, Dip and so Dots. Really? Sick pizza. Yeah. Um, oh, and then we also have a chalk contest. Oh, the chalk art contest. Which will be fun. Yeah. And Funky Monkey gift cards to go around. So yeah. I think we could. It's Funky Monkey and fun. Red Piano are sponsoring tonight, so yeah. totally kid friendly. Very friendly. It's going to be a fun night. And then after the concerts look just like trickling out info, we're doing an Oktoberfest in yes. September, in mid September. So more information to come on that. We're Sweet. having our second annual Lake Orion, Oxford, Stronger Together Oktoberfest pub crawl. And then Scarecrow Fest is at the end of September. September 29th. Yeah. It's going to be busy. I mean, the first football preseason game is tonight, so oh I feel like, okay, we're ready for fall. Yeah. I you mean, know? It's, it's starting. It feels bad, so, for sure. starting. It does. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we will see everybody next week. Yeah. Well, thank you. And thank you. bye, guys.